Today we're looking at a 2002 PT Cruiser and we're going to replace the upper and lower strut mounts. Uh, some people call these engine mounts but I believe the technical term for them is torque struts because they do not actually support the weight of the engine. They just prevent the engine from rotating too far forward or too far backward. And here's one torque strut. On, this is the upper one. It's on the passenger side of the engine compartment. And the other one, the lower one, is on the same side towards the bottom. And I'll get that one a little bit later. But first, I believe we're going to start with inspecting this one. You can inspect it to see if it's broken or not by looking down between here and looking for cracks. Or actually, it looks like this one kind of melted, but there's definitely a crack there. And it actually did melt a little bit. So that one will definitely need to replace. And usually if one fails, the other one is just about to fail because uh, if one fails, it puts extra stress on the second one. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace both of them. But that's the upper mount, or the upper strut, torque strut. So we're going to inspect the lower one. Okay, here we're under the car, still on the passenger side. And that long piece right here is the lower strut mount or uh, torque strut um, and if we look closely we can see that there the plastic has or the rubber has separated from where the engine bolts the huge gap right here and so if we actually look behind it we can see that it's rubbing against the metal part the rubber is completely gone so that one will need to be replaced as well luckily um, I already have both strut or um, torque struts. It costs about thirty-five dollars each, so um, we're just going to replace those, replace both of them, um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, first we're going to remove the top one. I got my new one here, and the old one's still down here. Um, some people remove the or disconnect your AC lines first. If you do that, <clears throat> make sure obviously you discharge your AC or you're going to get a rude surprise when you unscrew these. Um, it just gives you a little bit more room to get down in there and shimmy that thing out. But I think I'll be able to get down in there and move these out of the way so I can get that out of there. And I got some uh, sockets on here. This one is um, a 14 millimeter on that bolt right there. This one back here is a 15 millimeter. I don't know why they're different sizes, but they are. And then the one back here that attaches to the frame is an 18 millimeter. And actually that was quite easy to get out even with the AC lines in the way. The, the bolts that were actually in the engine were not that tight. The bolt that went through here that mounted to the, um, the frame was actually the tightest. I had to get a breaker bar on it to loosen that one up. But now we can see side by side the new one versus the old one obviously I bet I can just probably push yep I can just push that right out it's obviously not supposed to do that so next we'll take this bolt off here which is a 18 millimeter and I already loosened it up so that can just screw on out and the piece that this screws into you will need unless your new one came with it already that piece there you'll need to screw back into right there okay and as I found out um, you want to put this part that you took off the old one on the side that has that will allow distance between the actual um, torque strut and this part because if we put it on this side and flip it over it will rub against it and it won't allow it to move so it goes on the part that's sticking out and it just sits down in there like this and actually I went ahead and tightened this bolt down because there's a little ledge right there which doesn't allow this to turn once you get it a little bit tight so you can go ahead and tighten this down without it actually being in the car so next I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in now I'm actually going to show you how, to, how I got this in with the AC lines in. First I put it in like this, so it's vertical, so it slides in pretty easily, and then I just rotate it underneath the AC lines, and that's the same way I got it out too. 
and then you just set it in there and screw back in. Okay, and once you get those two bolts in, you may see that it's not aligning quite right, but that's alright because our old one's broke, so the engine was sitting in the correct place that it was supposed to be sitting in. So you just put a breaker bar in your front of the engine like this, and you can just pry against it and get that to line up, and you can drop that bolt right down in there and tighten that one up. All in all, I would say this project took maybe 15 minutes. Actually, I'm doing this on my lunch break, so not too bad at all. Okay, now we're working on the one underneath the car on the passenger side. This one's seeming to be a little bit more difficult to get to. I had to remove the, or at least loosen up the uh, splash thing here. It's just two screws. Um, and to get to the bolt that goes in through here to the, the engine on this one. And there's another bolt down here, which I haven't got the sizes of these yet. This is the nut. And the bolt goes through, all the way through to the other side of the splash shield thing. And that is on the other side of the wheel, right, if I can reach it, right there. So we'll have to take that one out and the one on the other side of the splash shield as well. Okay, and actually that one, the first one is a nut, which holds that first, um, this piece right here, holds that on. And that was a 15 millimeter nut on bottom. And they also have to take off the top one up there. That was also 15 millimeters. Okay, now that I got it out, this bolt here, which went into the engine, was 18 millimeters. And the, the uh, this part here, which was on the other side of the uh, splash shield there, that was also 18 millimeters. So that nut screws onto there. And this piece, just like this with the nut on this side so you have to take off this nut take off this piece then you can unscrew the entire bolt and get that piece out now if we look at it we can obviously see it's in the same position condition as the top one that center piece just falls right out and that's not supposed to do that so we're gonna go ahead and put the new one in and just reverse the process unlike the top one you can just take this out, it doesn't have a another piece that goes with it. So, we'll just reverse the process and put it back together, and we'll be good to go. Okay, we got that one in, the splash guard back up. All in all, this one took probably about 30 minutes, just because I had to take the splash guard down and take out some extra stuff to get to uh, that bolt down there. Um, but not too bad, not too bad. So, uh, well, thank you for watching.